Abul Muzaffar Muin Uddin Muhammad Shah Faruqsi or Alim Akbar Sani Wali Shan Pajah I Bayubar, Shayd I Mizlum was the Mughal Emperor between 1713 and 1719, after murdering Jahandar Shah. Noted as a handsome ruler he was easily swayed by his advisers, he lacked the ability, knowledge and character to rule independently. He was the son of Azim Ashina Euro the second son of Emperor Bajah Shah Ia Euro, and Saya Benizan. His reign witnessed the primacy of the Sayyid brothers who became the effective powers of the land, behind the four section aid of Mughal rule. His constant plotting eventually led the Sayyid brothers to officially depose him. Early life, Farukh Shayur first married Noor Bfakhrung Niza Begum Sayaba, daughter of Mir Muhammad Taki Husseini, a Kashmiri nobleman from the Marashi clan, sometime prior to December 1715. In September 1715, Farukh Shayur married Indira Kanwa, daughter of Maharaja Ajit Singh of Jodhpur. Reign Jahandar Shah was defeated at the Second Battle of Samyuga near Agra on January 10, 1713. Following this, the Said brothers helped Farukh Shayur to secure his throne. He took the throne on January 11, 1713, at the age of 27. Farukh Shayur had the incumbent Mughal Grand Viziers Ulfi Kakan Nasrat Yung, Jahandar Shah and his wife Lal Khan War, and several nobles executed. In the year 1713, Farukh Shayur wrongfully ordered the execution of the Mughal poet laureate Jafar Zatoli, for composing poems that may have indirectly objected his regime. Farukh Shayur's reign marked the ascendancy of the Syed brothers particularly Syed Hassan Ali Khan Baha, who was chosen as the Grand Vizier of the Mughal Empire, he is accused of monopolizing state power and reduced the emperor to an effective figurehead. Farukh Shayur was also a very manipulative he would spend most of his reign trying to bribe notable Mughal servicemen to overthrow the Syed brothers, among those to fall victims to such schemes was the courageous Dord Khan Pani, Asaf Jar I refused to involve in any internal conflict and was disfavored by Farukh Shayur. In the year 1713, Mubaraz Khan, had been appointed Subadar of the Deccan by Mughal Emperor Farukh Shayur, he had successfully restored law and order in the Deccan. In the year 1714, Ibrahim Khan the Mughal Fordar of Gorahat and Dhaka once again defeated Yanjin Narayan an ally of Drok Rabgi the ruler of Bhutan and consolidated territories for the Mughal Empire in Koch Bihar particularly at Kajayat, Kakina and Fati Pakakla. Sikh forces led by Banda Singh Baja, Sikh leader Banda Singh Baja defeated almost all Mughal rulers of Punjab and captured large territories of the Mughals Wazir Khan was killed by Banda Singh Baja. The final confrontation of the Mughals with the fearless Sikh leader Banda occurred under the Mughal commander Abda Samad Khan Baja and his son Zakharia Khan Baja, including Zainuddin Ahmad Khan, the new Fordar of Sir Hind, with 7,000 troops, Kamar ad Din Khan, with 20,000 troops, had him surrounded during the siege of Gurdaspur. Although Banda's followers ferociously resisted, their escape attempts were constantly foiled, and after an eight month siege by the Mughal army, the Sikhs surrendered on December 17, 1715. Banda and his followers were then taken to Delhi and were mercilessly tortured and executed along with their families by the orders of Mughal Emperor Farukh Shayur in the year 1716. Bengal and Sindh, in the year 1716, Murshid Quli Khan, a very influential Mughal serviceman since the days of Aurangzeb, emerged to become the first Nawab of Bengal. He had established a sophisticated taxation and administrative system, which was probably the best in the empire and contributed a hefty tribute of 10 million dams per year to the Mughal imperial court. In the year 1718, the highly capable Noor Muhammad Kalaro emerged as the subadar of Sindh and was given the imperial title Qudayar Khan, by Farukh Shayur. Equals foreign relations equals, Farukh Shayur is also known to have sent a letter to the Ottomans which was received by the Grand Vizier of the Ottoman Sultan Ahmad III, providing a graphic description of the informing him of the efforts of the Mughal commander Syed Hassan Ali Khan Baha against the RAJPUT and Maratha rebellion. Equals trade concessions equals. It was during Farukh Shayur's reign, in 1717, that the British East India Company purchased duty-free trading rights in all of Bengal for a mere 3,000 rupees a year. 
It is said that the company's surgeon, William Hamilton, cured Farouk Shiel and the emperor was moved to grant trading rights to the company. Another story tells of a bribe to a eunuch of the Seraglio and a rumored British naval attack on the Mughal navy at Surat. This order, which the company hailed as the Golden Furman, was not of much practical use. Even though the company claimed duty exemptions based on this firman, the Mughal governors of Bengal, from Murshid Kuli Khan onwards, ignored this order of their suzerain and continued to collect customs duty from the East India Company. Equals coup against Farukh Jiyur equals. In the year 1718, Farukh Jiyur began to amass a Mughal army of 70,000 in Delhi. He had invited Asaf Jar I from Aradabad and Subulan Khan from Bahal. They, however, declined to fight against the Said brothers. Fearing a coup Syed Hassan Ali Khan Baha desperately recalled his brother Syed Hussain Ali Khan Baha from campaigns in the Deccan against the Marathas. Syed Hussain Ali Khan Baha, then arrived with 25,000 battle-ready Mughal troops and outraged the entire Mughal Empire when he brought 10,000 Maratha combatants as his reinforcements. During tense negotiations Farukh Jiyur and the Sayyid brothers agreed to release each other's political prisoners and redeploy their forces for the defense of the Mughal Empire in February 1719, but Farukh Jiyur's demands were rejected and was then overthrown by forces led by Syed Hassan Ali Khan Baha during a night battle. Death, Farukh Jiyur met a humiliating and bloody end, his constant plotting eventually led the Sayyid brothers to officially depose him as the emperor. Farukh Jiyur was imprisoned and starved. Later, on February 28, 1719, he was blinded with needles at the orders of the Said brothers. Farukh Jiyur was strangled to death on the night of 27 April 28, 1719. After accomplishing his assassination, the Said brothers placed his first cousin, Rafi al Dajat, on the throne. Rafi al Dajat's father and Farukh Jiyur's father had been brothers. He is believed to be assassinated at Norbachna in Red Fort. Equals legacy equals, the town of Farukhnagar in Gurgaon district, 32 kilometers south of Delhi, was rechristened after his name. During his reign, here he built a Shish Mahal and also a Jama Masjid Mosque. Notes External links <laughs>